What's up, guys, and welcome back to Supermarket Simulator. If you're enjoying this series, make sure you leave a like on the video and subscribe. If you haven't already, it would be greatly appreciated. Since the previous episode was uploaded, we've done two grindy streams, which has brought us up to a little over $13,000. So today, we're going to be making some major improvements to the storefront. We're also going to be adding a couple of new items. But before we get to that, I think it's important we at least run through, you know, one day. Just that way we can kind of use up some of our over overstock that we have here on the floor. Also, our two restocker dude bro bras have finally been named. So ladies and gentlemen, I would like to formally introduce you to Daryl and his other brother, Darrell. It's spelled like Daryl, but it's actually pronounced Darrell. That's the only way we can really tell the two apart. But Darrell's been telling Christopher that the back of his head is ridiculous. And I don't really know what he means by that, but it's good to see that they're all getting along. Hello, sir. You find everything okay today? Great. Happy to hear it. Oh my god. Quick PSA. Alright, quick PSA for you guys. First of all, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's left a comment regarding using a numpad to input the numbers here. I appreciate that very, very much. However, as I've mentioned now a couple of times on stream, I do not have a numpad, or as I call it, a 10 key. So, again, I appreciate all of you very much. Please stop commenting that because I don't have one and it's driving me crazy. I wish I did, man. I really wish I did. I'm going to dip out really quick so I can check in with our over overstock. See if we can restock any of this stuff just yet. Bread. Uh, that's probably what Darrell or maybe that was Daryl. Oh, that's already confusing. It's probably what he just took out of here. Uh, that is flour, which is already full. Apple juice. We could lob another one of those up there unless that's what you have. Oh, it totally was. Oh, that's my bad. That is my bad, brother. Well, we'll let him restock the bottom shelf. Milk is good. Okay, that's really all we can do for right now. Ma'am, how we doing today? You find everything okay? Fantastic. Thanks for uh, thanks for sharing. A hundred dollar bill, huh? All right, cool. Well, you are getting all ones. And 25 cents. And a quarter. I'll toss in a quarter for you. You know, might as well. But next time you come in, ma'am, this will hopefully allow you to have much smaller bills than a $100 bill. Thank you so much. Have a fantastic day. I'm not going to do that for everyone because it takes a considerable amount of time. But maybe those people that give us a $100 bill, you know, we're if anything, we're helping them out. Obviously, they don't have smaller bills. So now they do. Easy solution, right? 65 50 for you today, sir. Thanks so much for stopping in. Hope you found everything all right. How we doing today, brother? Good. Glad to hear it. 175 is your change. And we've got to help this guy. One more guy, and then I will go back and try to restock some more. Thank you for the exact change, sir. Hey, a fellow cheese connoisseur. Mad respect, brother. Mad respect. Okay, in his defense... The bill, or the total, was $102. He gave us $150. Likely a $100 bill and a $50. So I'm going to hook him up. I'm going to give him some fives here. Up until about $45. There's $47 and $75. Just so you have some, some smaller bills for next time. Christopher, hold down the fort for me for a sec. Uh, they've decided to make a new shelf for spaghetti. But that's all right. Can we restock anything else? What is that again? Flour? Oh, yeah. Put that right up there. And orange juice. We can restock. Milk is still pretty full. Again, they've decided they're going to just restock the apple juice over there. And cola is still full as well. Hello, sir. Did you find everything okay? Fantastic. 36.75. Have a good one. Mostly liquids today, huh? All right. Just kind of one of those days. I get it. 31.75. Gotcha. Hello, sir. Dang, he got the eczema and the cheese. Impressive. 49 on the nose. Thanks so much. Stop back sometime. We've got you covered, sir. That's going to be 24, 25. <laughs> you know what's even funnier than 24? 25. Thanks so much. Have a good one. Hello. You find everything okay? Great. I, Dude, I need to come up with other things to ask these customers. I'm, I'm running out of stuff to say. I have been for quite some time now. 975 for you, sir. Alrighty. Another successful day 
in the book. So we're going to let the restockers, Daryl and Durrell, keep doing their thing. Day 51 now. We are making moves. Total customers, 42. Products found expensive, 2. Not the end of the world. We made just shy of 2,000 buckaroonies. But that's largely due to the fact that we didn't spend any money on restocking stuff. So oil is down, flour is up, and candy is up. Now that we've got those prices all adjusted, it's time for, we'll call it a necessary evil. So many of you have informed me that we don't need to have four things of chocolate per shelf. Two would suffice. So that's the plan. We're gonna try to we're gonna try to scale things back a little bit so that we don't have four things of bread here. It'll just be two and so on and so forth. So it's gonna take me a considerable amount of time, but it's something that needs to happen. As for the refrigerated section, depending on what our next license, our next product license will bring us, I may or may not reconfigure this as well. But for right now, I think. I think it's okay. We'll start with the shelves first. How about that? In order for us to do this efficiently, I do think it's important that we fire both Daryl and his other brother, Darrell. Just that way they're not restocking stuff that we don't necessarily need restocked just yet. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start grabbing boxes and we'll see if we can't make this happen. Probably grab this one because it's nearly empty. Come on, man. The whole bug where if you take a thing off of the shelves in storage and suddenly you can't place it anywhere, that's that's a real bummer and a half. Oh my god, that's gonna make this whole process so much so much longer than it needs to be. Change of plans. I I cannot work this way. I I just can't. I seriously can't even right now. So what we're gonna do instead, even though the restockers are still on a temporary unpaid leave. We're just going to start a day without them. That way we can kind of get rid of some of the products already on the shelves. I think that's going to make our lives so much easier. Hang on a minute, sir. I will be with you momentarily. I'm also not going to throw out any cardboard boxes. Because honestly, we, we kind of need them, right? To, to move stuff around. I know, I think the dev is working on the ability to move stuff around without the boxes. Which will be awesome. But for right now, we're... We're kind of stuck with it. Uh-oh. Christopher, look alive. Crazy Eyes just walked in. You know she's not She's not coming to my checkout. She's, she's definitely going to your counter, brother. In other news, this will officially be the final recording in my current office. Literally, as soon as I wrap this up, I'm, I'm taking out all my gear from here and I'm bringing it to the new house. We're, we're shoving it in the new office. It's going to be great. Or hopefully... It's gonna be great. Might be a little echoey for the first few recordings in there since my acoustic foam panels unfortunately haven't arrived yet. But we'll work through it. Not that big of a deal. Hey, crazy eyes. What's going on? Christopher, I was wrong. I was wrong. She chose me today for, I don't even know why. 7175, thanks so much. Have a good one. You know, we should probably we should probably give this old office a, a classic salute for a job well done. You know, it's wow, you really stocking up on the juice today. It served us well over the years. It's definitely been a, a good spot. There's a dollar for you, ma'am. Appreciate you. After this customer, we'll get to it. Five bucks. Thanks so much, T Swift. Have a good one. Sorry about that, ma'am. Had to had to do a quick thing. You understand, surely. Whoops, you definitely gave me a card. 101. Nice. Appreciate you. Thanks for spending all your money with us. Check this next guy out on card again. That's gonna be 7775. Stop back sometime. Oh wow, we actually have a much longer line than Christopher does. I was just checking to see if Sugar actually bought sugar today. Uh, I couldn't tell. From here, it's it's not looking like she got any. This lady got some. Hey, good for you. We're having a, a closeout sale today, pretty much. Even though the prices haven't changed, it's still full price. We, I, we gotta get full price for it. We just have to. Karen! Great to see you. You find everything okay? No complaints today, I see. That is good news. It's a good day when even a Karen doesn't have a thing to say. Looks like that's gonna be it for today. Once Christopher gives Sugar her change, 
We're going to flip the sign around, and that is that. Let's finish out the day. Day 52, satisfied customers, 45. Not too shabby. 2100 bucks as well. That puts us up to 17000 now. Flour is up. Peanut butter is up. Tea and milk are down. I believe that was shelf milk. Now that all the shelves are looking a bit more sparse, and we've got a couple more empty boxes at our disposal, it's, it's still going to take a while, but I, I do think it's time that we start reorganizing the entire storefront. One eternity later. It's over. It is finally over and done with. Pay no attention to these shelves right here just yet. But look at these. Who would have thought that taking stuff off of the shelves would give us more shelf space? Crazy, right? The only reason that these items are here in the center is it's essentially overstock. I didn't have enough empty boxes to repackage those few items in. But yeah, we've got two rows of everything now, except for shelf milk. Now, hear me out. There's only six, six bangers per shelf. Most everything else is sitting with at least eight or 12 items per shelf. So this still utilizing four shelf spaces. I think it's going to be worth it, though. That stuff sells really, really well. So now that we have all of this space, let's check out our new licenses and we'll see what else we can get in here. Bleach cleaner, dishwasher tablets, hand soap, shampoo, and toilet paper. I have been informed that toilet paper is a big, big seller. Big, big seller. Look at that. Required store level 12. We're 28 now. Store level 28. So there we go. We've got one mo of them. And then how about, since we've got 16,000, how about either expanding the store or storage? Maybe storage first, right? Because that's quite a bit cheaper. And we could use the extra space. Let's see what that did for us. Oh, dang. I don't even know that we need to go any further than that for right now. That should that should get us going. Go back to growth. Let's get section six. Or should we hold off? I'm going to hold off for right now. And we'll see what we can cram into our shelves currently. Let's go with one more product license. This is going to give us mozzarella cheese parmesan cheese oh i have to get this one honey which is good we could have something to pair with the peanut butter instead of salt kind of a weird combo to stack uh tuna more eczema and more powdered sugar maybe like a, a nicer better quality powdered sugar i don't know but that is pretty sweet okay back to the market now uh, we're obviously going to have to get more storage shelves for in here, but something else that was highly recommended that I do is organize our storage shelves in the same order that the stuff is here on the order sheet. You know what I'm trying to say? So like this cereal, then bread, then flour, and so on and so forth. We'll just kind of stack it all up in there. So real quick, let me let me reorganize these shelves. We're going to have to stick a new light in here. Maybe right there. That is almost spot on. Still needing a grid. Would very much appreciate a grid. Developer, if you happen to see this for whatever reason, it'd be something that'd be kind of kind of nice. Just throwing that out there. But the reason I've done three and three is because in our order form here, the products are listed in, in rows of three. You know, so I just think that's going to be the easiest way to go about doing things. But now I got to organize all this, which is going to suck. Many, many minutes later. Here we go. Nearly 30 minutes later. And I apologize that I'm not doing the usual, like, sped up restocking procedure for all of this. It would be far too much editing. It's it's just a little too chaotic. For normal restocking, I'll still do it. Don't you Don't you worry. But let's see how much easier it would be to figure out, like, what these empty spaces are supposed to be for. Salt definitely shouldn't be there. Uh, so underneath bottled water should be eczema. So we'll just get one eczema. That way we can we can fill that slot. Uh, underneath salt, see what we've got here. We need zap this soda. I guess it's called turco. And shelf milk. Classic shelf milk. As you can probably tell, I am finally starting to utilize the very bottom shelf in storage. I know I, I wasn't doing that, and the main reason why is because I would manually drop our over overstock down there just so it was, you know, cleaned up and out of the way. But we don't need to be doing that. 
So now that we've got that taken care of, let's go through and start buying all of our newly or recently added products. All the way down to honey. We can fit one more in this order. Down to tuna. Ooh, so we are going to need some more refrigerator space. I was kind of worried about that. 500 bucks? Oh, the dishwasher tablets are stupid expensive. Hopefully, it's a good seller, man. And here's our new four-banger of eczema. That's pretty sick. And the new powdered sugar variants. Perfect. All right. Let's get all that crammed into the shelves then. I'm thinking we're going to have plenty of space. Moments later. We've got everything restocked in storage. But we're going to need a couple more boxes of at least the new items that we've added so that we can actually stock the storefront now. So let's do that really quick. And we should be able to start our day in no time. More moments later. We've got a pretty decent pile of cardboard boxes going on in the storage room now. But check this out, dude. I, I decided to get a full shelf of toilet paper up and running because you can only fit two of these things per shelf. And I've been told it's a good seller. So I just want to make sure we have plenty of it. Everything else, this is all like cleaning products. Minus the salt, honey, and PB bubber. We're probably going to end up moving those at some point. Also, none of the prices have been set just yet. I still have to go through and do the refrigerated section, which is probably going to be a nightmare. This this whole this whole day so far has just kind of been a nightmare for my for my OCD. Like I don't love having to pair uh, rice and bread together, but they're both grains. So I mean, I guess I guess that checks out. But we've still got these two shelves completely empty. So I think we might be able to get another product license. Maybe. We'll see. Let me let me address uh, the refrigerated section first. I think an easy solution, obviously we don't need to have this much yogurt. Michael Weston's not going to be stopping in for quite some time. So we could probably slim that down to maybe just one thing of yogurt or two. I'm, I'm just so indecisive today. But we've got these four boxes here. Uh, four banger of eggs. I believe that's fresh mozzarella cheese. What was this one again? Parmigiano. Oh, dude, this Parmesan. That's that Parmesan cheese. I know it's pronounced Parmesan. You guys know I just say things weird on purpose. And then tuna. We've got the tune. We're going to try to cram in there somewhere else. I might try to get a bigger refrigerator, right? Because those are all the small ones. We've We've not even purchased a large one yet. But would that really help us? Probably not, but let's try it. We'll purchase one. We'll see if it's any good. Uh, the downside right now is we don't have anywhere to put this refrigerator. We could probably we could probably use it elsewhere, I suppose. But yeah, I got I got to do some more reorganizing. So I'll see you guys in just a few minutes. Two very boring minutes later. The big fridge ended up working out beautifully. So now we have just two rows of yogurt instead of five or whatever it was before. We've got two rows of Parmesan, two rows of mozzarella. We've got two more rows of the four bangers of eczema. I don't know. Maybe I should put the big fridge in the middle. Yeah, let's let's swap these around real quick. Will this actually help us? Will we benefit from this whatsoever? No. Except maybe my sanity, I guess. I just think that that looks quite a bit nicer. And then here at the bottom row, we have the tune. But we do now have a leftover refrigerator that I don't think we can do anything with. So let's just box it up. Wait, sell? We can... That's fantastic, dude. We can just sell stuff if we don't need it anymore for the refrigerators and probably lights, cash registers, you know, stuff like that. That's very, very helpful. That had to be a, a new update or something. I don't remember seeing that before. What's our next product license? Butter. More cereal. Chicken. Okay, so we're going to have to kind of move the cereal around a little bit. French fries. Ooh, that's probably going to require a freezer. We could swing it, though. We've still got $11,000. I, I felt like we were going to blow through this money. But honestly, like the reorganizing and everything has taken so long that w we still got plenty left over. De Niro. An off-brand DiGiorno pizza. It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. And then a bag of potatoes. Cool. You know what? I, I like what I'm seeing. Let's do it. We've got a couple more products now. Pretty convenient as well that we had six available spots in storage for said new products. So now that we have that done, 
we need to get at least one more box of each. That way we can start filling up the store. But what actually needs to be put in the freezer? Oh, butter's got to go in the fridge. Man, so we're going to have to reorganize that again? It, it really is just my nightmare, this episode. I tell you what. So three things, three items have to go in a freezer. There is only one size freezer. Let's figure out how much stuff we can fill that with. I'm going to start with the chickens. The whole chickens. Oh, it is not much. Wait, is that... That's the box empty already? Okay, that's that's pretty easy. What about the fries? We're going to probably want another freezer. While we're at it, I'm going to grab another large refrigerator just for butter. And with 8800 bucks left, we're going to spend 4400 on another store expansion. That'll give us plenty of room for that freezer and uh, and the new refrigerator as well. Okay, I'm finally starting to feel good about this. But we've, we've reorganized now. We have two large refrigerators. We've got a pretty good split between everything. I'm going to pick these up. Hold F to sell. There's another 100 bucks. And there's another 100 bucks. Brings us up to $4,500 after all that. I'm not going to I'm not gonna hire uh, Daryl and Darrell back just yet. Solely because we still have this kind of miscellaneous shelf just sort of hanging out. Well, we might have some... We might have some boxes for at least some of that stuff. I don't see any of the, the larger ones like these, though. That's what we really need. I did what I could with what we had available. It is what it is. We've just got a little bit of overstock of some penne. But let's start the freaking day, dude. Start the clock. I'm ready. Oh, no, we are not ready. We have to set prices. Can I just close immediately? Are people going to be upset by that? Uh-oh. Okay, I got to be quick about this. Let's go through all the new products and try to get everything priced out. Honey is new. Uh, that is going to be eleven twenty-five. Seems like a good price. Yeah, pretty much everything on, on these shelves is, is brand spanking new. Twenty seventy-five. We'll go with that. I just don't want anyone to come in here before we have these prices set. That'll be two twenty-five. That seems good. Shampoo. Uh six oh six, so let's do six twenty-five. Sounds good, sounds good. The black. Gotta get the black on sale. That's four seventy-five. That'll do. Not making much on it, but it's okay. Better than nothing, right? Three twenty-five for the cleaner. Look at the total ripoff of Mr. Clean. That's kind of great. Okay, TP is next. Fifteen forty-one. Okay, so let's do fifteen fifty. Moving on to the new powdered sugar. That will be twelve twenty-five. Down here, new cereal. That'll be five twenty-five. Got it. And the taters. Got a whole bag of taters over here. Five fifty on that one. What else do we have that's new? Frozen section and then a little bit in the refrigerated section. I decided to double up the, the chimkin over here on account of you can only put four per uh per shelf. Nine fifty. Sounds good. Uh the pizza five twenty five for that one. Almost finished. Almost finished. These customers are going to be so upset with me. I, uh, I probably should not have opened. We got the butter over here. 275. Down to the tune. 750. For that guy. Four banger of eczema will be 225. Mozzarella will be 525. Got him. And last but not least, the Parmesan at 550. That is a expensive boy. Okay. We're ready. Anyone that... Oh, we just missed CC. Bummer. And Crazy Eyes, so we kind of lucked out there. Sorry if anyone walked up when we were still closed. That's my bad. Totally my bad. Yeah, they take two per. Or they can take two per. What's our overstock look like for, for that? Dude, it's going to be such a struggle now because I don't even know where the heck anything's at. But the box for toilet paper was pretty dang big. I'm not... Oh, it's down here. So the box for blech, a.k.a. bleach, is larger than the one for toilet paper. That checks out. Yeah, we, we might want, like, another storage shelf just for bleach and the toilet paper since the, 
boxes are so massive. And Chimkin. Chimkin probably too. But let's stand at the ready. Oh my god, yeah, look at how picked over the TP already is. That's insane. That's actually insane. Okay, I am going to place a quick supplemental order for Chimkin, toilet paper, and bleach. There we go. Just just real quick, just so we just so we have a little bit of extra laying around. Oh, these dude, the orders are going to be so much more expensive now. $90. $90 and he didn't even get that much. Thank you, sir. Have a good one. Just coming in for the rice. Is the... Are the prices scaring you away? Probably. Yeah, they do be liking the TP And the Chimpkin. $94. Yo, we are in the money now. In the money. I'm interested to see if Sugar ends up buying the new powdered sugar variety we have. Or if she'll stick with the old Susu stuff. Or whatever that's whatever that's called. Dude, it's already 6.30 p.m. and I only just opened the store. This is gonna be a, a bad day for us. I mean, hopefully we'll still make a decent amount of money just because the, you know, the selection we have is, is a lot better now, but not ideal. Definitely not ideal. I'm gonna try to sneak in another order of the toilet paper. Dude, we might even need like a whole dedicated shelf in storage for the stuff because it is just, flying off the shelves i mean look at this i just i just restocked it granted only with four of them but still 123 25 that is a new in-store record i think the previous record was 120 if i remember right it's gonna be 1775 for you today sir thanks so much for stopping in you find everything okay ma'am great sorry i know our uh our shelves are a little all over the place right now Organization. I, I tried. I did what I could, right? 93. 93.25. Gotcha. What's going on, brother? You find everything okay? Good. How's the family? Excellent. One of these days, one of these days, they're going to start actually like saying stuff to us. Or so I hope. I think this dude is our last customer for the day. Like I said, it's, it's not going to be a good day for us, but hopefully we'll make some money. Hello, sir. Got your TP. Stocking up on a little bit of bleach as well. Love to see it. 104. And a dollar is your change. Thank you for stopping in, Christopher. That is another day in the books, brother man. Day 53. Yeah, only 26 customers. That ain't too good. Total profit, we lost $11,500. It's all right. Okay, coffee has gone down. Coffee is right over here now. That is 884. Yikes. Uh, we'll charge nine bones for it. I guess that'll that'll work. So before we rehire Daryl and Durrell, I'm going to try to go around and restock what we can. Hopefully we'll end up with an empty box that's the same size as the penne. Then we can move that out of there. Yeah, I just, I, I just can't do all this on my own, but I have cleaned out the, uh, like, miscellaneous shelf that we had with all the penne and, and whatnot on it, so we're looking good there. There shouldn't be any open shelves with old stickers where these guys will try to, like, place things, hopefully. What do you got there, bud? Oh, some more chimkin. Nice. I did kind of already restock that, but good looking out. And then we've also got Christopher's brother. Still haven't decided on a name for him because I'm not 100% sure he's going to be sticking around all the time. But we'll we'll come up with something. I'm sure of it. Once I'm finished throwing away all these empty boxes that we don't really need anymore, I think I'm going to I think I'm going to buy another shelf just for bleach and toilet paper and all the other big boxes. Maybe maybe the dang taters too. But all the big boxes that we can only fit one on the shelf. Uh, what's going on here, boys? Daryl? 
Darrell? What's happening? I think this is another save, exit, come back type situation. This very well could be the longest episode to date, but we've now got everything in storage completely restocked. We've got our overflow for the larger boxes that we can only fit one on, on the shelf for. I think I'm going to leave Christopher and Christopher's brother, uncle, cousin, friend, employed. Also, Daryl and Darrell, of course. They're very, very helpful. But let's start the dang clock, dude. I'm ready. I'm going to be just on storage watch today. Anytime something starts to diminish, we're going to restock it and everything's going to be great. Or at least that's the goal. Okay, so I lied. Instead of watching the shelves just diminish in storage, I decided it'd probably be more fun to just watch everything happen here in the storefront. And it did not disappoint. These two boys, they, they held it down. The restockers, Daryl and Darrell, they also held it down. I mean, things are just, things are really looking up here for 2G Mark. And I cannot wait until we're actually able to change Supermarket to 2G Mark instead. I think that name just fits quite a bit better. As soon as old Christopher is finished checking this last customer out for the day, we'll be able to flip the sign around. Wait, couldn't find chicken? Where did all the chicken go? Even our overstock for the chicken has run dry. That's not good. That is not good. At least we have one leftover thing of toilet paper. That's not so bad. But let's finish out the day. We'll see how we did without actually spending a whole bunch of money on restocking. Well, no, that's not true either because we did that before the day even began. 42 total customers, two products not found. Both, I'm guessing, were the Chimkin, which is okay. Uh, but we made $185. What a day, man. What a day. Okay, mozzarella is up. That's going to be right here. Uh, let's do 575. There we be. But, ladies and gents, I hate to do this to you. I hate to say it. I do think that's where we're going to have to wind things down at for today. So once again, if you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, leave a comment, help support the dream by smashing that subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace. Peace.